Hello, my name is Adam Hay and I'm the course leader for the Level 3 Extended Diploma in Photography here at Calliworth College. Um, at the college we have two courses on offer. We have our um, A-Level, which you could do alongside a range of other subjects, or we have the Level 3 Extended Diploma, which is the equivalent of three A-Levels, but in one subject. So, whichever course you choose, the most important thing is that you're enthusiastic about photography, you're passionate about getting out with your camera, and you're interested in the work of other photographers and creative practitioners, and the way that they have influenced the work of others. So throughout the course there's a real emphasis on using the work of other people to inspire what you are doing. And with the extended diploma, we start off assuming that you've done not really anything more than just photographing pets on the beach or your family or landscapes. And we start off with how you see the world photographically. So how you can communicate a message with photography and how photography can be a tool to send messages to other people and communicate your vision of the world. And we start off with how you actually make photographs, so the basic kind of rules of composition, and then we develop these skills over a series of projects. So we, we look at the kind of more technical side of your camera, we then start thinking about using the dark room and using analogue equipment, and then it's really about applying these skills to a range of other contexts. So this has included advertising, fashion, fine art in relation to the landscape, and also sort of looking at moving image as well in the second year. So we're really trying to set you up as best as we possibly can for progression. Um, with the A-level, um, this is very similar in that at the start of the course you are very much thinking about how to use your camera and this idea of narrative, so again communicating a message. And then it's about applying these skills to a range of other art genres, so street photography, personal space, landscape, documentary, it's really all about using your camera as a means of communication. And throughout the course, as well as making photographs, there is a large emphasis on how you use the work of others to inspire you. So it's really important that if you are considering studying photography, you are aware that there is a written element to the courses as well, and this is as important as the photographs that you make. Um, at the college we have a wide range of equipment to help you make the best work that you possibly can. We have a photography studio with industry standard lighting equipment. We have a creative suite where we have computers with the latest Adobe Creative software on them. And we have a photographic darkroom whereby you can learn to use analogue photographic equipment just to expand your your range of image making possibilities. Um, as you progress through the course, it's really important that you're developing a reflective practice and that you have an idea of, sort of where your work is going and what you actually want to do with your photography. So throughout the course we think a lot about progression and how you can apply the skills that you're learning at college to wider contexts and sort of places beyond the college itself. So one of the units we focus on is branding and advertising. So this could lead perfectly into commercial photography and some kind of work experience or internship with a creative agency. Or we sort of encourage students to look at university and in particular creative courses. Um, if you have any questions regarding the courses, um, please just email me on adamh at and I'll be happy to get back to you with any questions that you may have. Thank you.